what were you guys talking about? We were talking about today. You guys had a question on. Gun the under the chin. Gun under the chin from that first degree Krav Maga black belt test. Now, look, as you get a blend, some, what we've done here year after year is always try to improve, always try to look at different things. I feel people all over get way too tied to their martial art and they get too religious. I constantly get reminded of why I started and getting into the philosophy of martial arts and finding Bruce Lee of there is no way, way of no way. Do whatever works. And that's what originally brought me into Krav Maga. And now, hey, just like everything out there, guys, there's good and bad of everything. And the more Krav Maga has grown, the more bad I see. So check out the school, look for things. Everything is not created equal, just like your dentist and just like every other profession. <laughs> All right. So from the, that first degree black belt test, we had some people struggling with gun underneath the chin, right? And again, out there, YouTube, hey, here's my money. I've complied. I'm still in this position. I feel like I need to do something. If you think you can get away, you know, thanks for watching, get away here. If you're the mindset that you want to consider doing something here, then I would highly recommend the technique of the month here for advanced weapon disarms is two-handed cupping. Now look, if I can match the height of the weapon, that's going to put me closer. And nobody, nobody, guys, is faster than the trigger pull. We know that but we're of the mindset that we are going to fight and I'm not going to just die and go, you can't do that. Hopefully, if that's you, you've stopped watching. If you want to learn something or try something, you're still watching. I know I can't beat it. What do you want, man? What, it, what is it? What do you want? I want your money. I, I already I gave you everything, man. I got you what? I did. They, all right, man. I am. I got. I got a knife. Hey, man. I'm gonna hey. shoot you. Hey. No, Nobody's gonna hear. You're getting too loud for the video. Really? You're getting too cry like you're getting too. I'm shoot you. All right. Shoot. Don't get too crazy. Look, we are trying to talk in this video as well. So what? If, what if here? Hey, man. I got a knife on me. Do you want the knife? I want your life. Boom. I'm gonna have to go there, right? This guy might want to be pushing me somewhere. I don't know where, right? It could be a female. You know, get in the car. There's lots of things here. It could be just two morons just freaking screaming, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, then, and then just go. But look, he wants me in a car. He wants me down on my knees. Give me something. Get in the car. Okay. All right. Where is it? Where is it? Right behind you. Boom. Right behind you. I've redirected. Now the fight is on, guys, right here. I need to put weight in that. He's going to instinctively want that gun back a little bit. So I'm going to go off of that. I'll change angles for that cameraman over here, Joel. Thanks, Joel. And I'm in here. I've got weight in that. And I am going to hit him. Look, maybe I have a knee strike, maybe. But I want to keep pressure on here. And then I'm going to go for the disarm. Right here, I should be assessing, right? Oh, I know where his buddy is. He's right there. But you never know who else might be around. Look, I'll give you one key thing. We saw it a lot more years and years ago, but still people have a tendency to drop their hand when they throw a front kick. And that's good. I'll do that sometimes. Sometimes it's like, hey, it's like Michael Jordan. Somebody can get away with it. He knows good fighters, know when they can get away with things because of distance, a whole other bunch of factors. But look, if you're always dropping a hand, here, we'll take the gun off and I'll just kick in the groin. Keep it, keep it, keep it, it's too long. From here, right? If I am always dropping a hand when I throw a front kick to generate more power, hey, I like it. I generally like to keep my hand somewhere in between us and not all the way down. But this is what it looks like when you drop this hand all of the time. Right, we'll go back to the regular scenario that it was underneath. Just don't be on the mic from here. Hey, come on, you want me on my knees? Okay, okay, just go down. You just want me to go down right here? Um, he's expecting some movement, so I go there right here. I should be stepping and putting weight in there and kicking him and keeping the muzzle away from me. But when you drop this hand all the time, this is what it looks like. You have a tendency to do exactly how you threw every other front kick and. You're staring down the muzzle. 
And yeah, I'm creating a malfunction, but he's got one shot. I don't want to get shot with a BB gun, let alone a 22. You're putting yourself in the line of fire. So a couple quick tips on that one. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Check out our shop, shop.clearsky.training. That will really help support us putting more videos out for you guys. All right, train more, suck less.